ladies and gentlemen, Therapy Gecko. I was backstage, and I heard someone say, this is his first show, right? This is gonna be a shit show. And that made me so happy. You also said it was gonna be, all right, it was you? No, you, look, cause that made me feel good because it, we have the right level of expectations for what's going on this evening. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for being, this is fucking awesome. I'm, I'm fucking pumped here. Uh, let me turn on this music real quick. Uh, dude, this is gonna be a very chill. Uh, does anyone here not ever seen my stream or know who I am or any of that shit? Who, who, who dragged you here? I can't, I can't hear you. What'd you say? You're Tim! Oh, how you doing? <laughs> That's incredible. You, I saw you in the Discord. You and uh, Ash, were ta you said that you were gonna like sit on your phones and mod. I'm, I'm very glad you didn't do that. I did. All right. I did not have a topic prepared for tonight because as you guys know, I don't love topics. I look at topics as uh, uh, prisons for conversations to never escape from. However, I feel as though it might be important to have, just in case. And I'm wondering, do any of you guys have a suggestion for a back pocket topic here? Is this a good idea? Beautiful, I love you, you're the best guy. All right, <laughs> folks. I spilled my water. Folks, let's open the lines, take some motherfucking calls, let's do it. All right, we gotta wait, because it's doing... Oh, we did, we did it! Call from... Bippity. Bippity? Hello? How are you, Bippity? Oh, we, we did it! B hey, Bippity! Wait, am I on? Hey, Bippity! Just... Yes, you... Bippity, can, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you turn off your stream? Yeah, it's off now. Hell yeah. So, Bippity... Tiffany. Okay, I'll take it. Is that not what your name? What's your name? No, it's Tiffany. <laughs> oh, Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany. How are you doing this evening? What are you up to? I'm doing well. I did not think I was going to be the first call on here. I feel so generic saying that, but like. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. What were you doing before you called in? I was doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> you were doing absolutely nothing. But yes. there had to have been a point where you were not, you haven't been doing nothing forever. What was the last thing you did before doing absolutely nothing? The last thing I did. Um, I was watching TV. You were watching TV. Yeah, so still that's, not exciting. That's <laughs> exciting. What were you watching, <laughs> Tiffany? I was watching that 70s show. You're watching that 70s show. What do you, how do you feel about the 70s? Do you feel like they were a good year? I mean, I wouldn't know. I wasn't alive, so I couldn't really tell you from personal experience, but I hey, feel like it could have been. Hey, Tiffany, I have a question for you. Sure. Is this a good idea? I think so. You think so? Okay, you, you don't sound very confident. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. Okay, tell me, can we walk through, like, the pros and the cons that you're seeing? I think the pros are that, you know, it could be a good thing, and then the cons are that it couldn't be. I, I, I agree that that is, uh, uh, it could be many things. Tiff Tiffany, what, who are, have we ever spoken before? <laughs> no, we have not. We have not. What do you do with your life? What do you do for a living, Tiffany? I'm an intern. I'm in college. You're an I'm intern. I'm getting through this shit. Okay, where do you intern at? I intern for an amusement park. 
um, I didn't know amusement parks have interns. Yeah, so I'm an IT intern for an amusement park. Okay, do you like fix the roller coasters? No. Okay. What does Not an intern do? Do you like get people c coffee? Um, not not exactly. <laughs> what did you what like in your day today? What did you do? In my day today, I sit in a cubicle and I reset people's passwords for their employee accounts and that type of stuff. Oh, can you? T All right. So you reset people's passwords. Sure. So you're in possession of a lot of passwords that used to be people's passwords, but are no longer active passwords. No, I generally So theoretically, don't you could like tell us some of these people's passwords because they're no longer I could, in use. But I would definitely get fired for that. Really? Can you can yes. can you give us one can you can't give us one password? I cannot. That's fair. Listen, Tiffany, thank you so I'm much for calling in. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you. You have a good rest of the night. You too. Goodbye. All right. So how do we think this is going? <laughs> Perfect. I did not know that you could intern at an amusement park. That's a, that's a new thing. Oh, I hope she got paid. Call from... To accept, press 1. To send a Should voice I do mail, it? press 2. Good call. Good call. Good call. Good call. Good call. Who wants to call in and announce their name to me? I will take no mysteries tonight. Call from... Hey. Hey. Hello? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Why are you doing good? Well, I mean, I, I'm witnessing something historical. You're in the midst of something historical. I, I mean, I wish I was Tiffany, because, I mean, what was it? Was the name Tiffany? Why do you wish you were Tiffany? Have you long dreamed to be an amu uh, an intern at an amusement park? No, um, I, I've long dreamed. Um, to be the, or I even dreamed, but I was, I, I, I I'm almost envious. You wanted envious. to be the, you wanted to be the first caller. Yeah, that was, but you do understand that if you're Tiff, you do understand, you, do understand you get to be the first caller, but then after that's over, you're an intern at an amusement park. I mean, I'd rather be an intern at an amusement park than not be. What uh, what are what are you? What am I? Yes. <sighs> That's a loaded question. I got nothing but time. I mean, I'm many things. You're uh, anything. I'm a really good uh, disc golfer. You're really good um, at disc golfing, okay. I mean, I like Wii. I like the Wii. The Wii is my favorite video game console. I play a lot of Wii Fit and Wii Sports Resort. What's your, what's your Which Wii sport are you the best at? Um... I'm mean, no. I I would say I'm probably really good at uh, at golf. At golf. Oh, are you good at? Do you play golf in real life as well, or only the Wii golf? No, I I don't play golf in real life. I play disc golf in real life. I think we already went over this. What did you say at the end there? I we already went over this. I play disc golf, not real golf in real life. We already went over this. Are you mad at me? No, of course not. I could never be mad at you. You sounded a little Did mad I, at me no, for like God. making you have to repeat yourself. No, 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 no. I just I, I had to re replace, rephrase. Would it rephrase myself? Okay, so not only you have to. Okay, you realize if to be the first caller of the stream, you not only have to be an intern. You not only have to take Tiffany's life. You also have to give up yours. So you can't play disc golf anymore. But you get to have been the first caller for the three minutes that we did that. Would you still take okay, it? Okay, okay. How do you know Tiffany doesn't disc golf? That's the thing. Uh, what do you think? Okay, an average person. If you were to find an average person on the street, what's like the over-under percentage that they play disc golf? Listen, it's the fastest growing sport in America. That's a fact. D does anyone here play disc golf? I think it's not a fact. Wait, we got one? 
All right, we got one, and there's 40 people in here. So there's a one in 40 chance that Tiffany plays disc golf. Would you take those odds? What if? No, I would not take those odds. I'm not a fool. All right, I only I only bet things. Listen, listen. They always tell me. They always tell me. You know, you always bet, but you only bet. You can lose an, an immaculate amount of money, but no matter what, you will always get what you want in the end, and that's what we why we like you. That's what they tell me. Well, listen. You were a fantastic second caller on the stream. I appreciate you very much. Of course. I hope you have a good rest of your uh, first show. Thank you very much. So how is disc golf? It's great. How'd you get into it? Nice, nice. Would you, would you, would, do you also have dreams of being an intern at an amusement park? Is that just a thing common among disc golfers? Call from Gary Oak. To accept. J O. Oh, uh, Gary Oak. Gary Oak. Yeah. How are you doing, Gary Oak? That's like from Pokemon. Whoa, what's that? Is this a good idea, Gary Oak? Uh, your first live show? I'm not sure. I heard a guy shit talking to you. I'd find him if I was up there. Say that again? With my Pokemon. You said you would fight him. <clears throat> yes. Have you been in have you been in many fights over the course of your life? A lot of battles. A lot of battles. Yeah. And how often do you win these battles? A lot. Grandpa taught me a lot. Your grandpa taught you a lot. Yeah, he raised me. He what? Raised me. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, all right. Uh, well, I'll let, well, what do you want me to do with this? I don't know. What, what do you want to do with it? I want to hang up. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's Gary Oak. How do you, uh, you guys watch, uh, you guys watch the stream, right? How do you feel about bits? Oh, I meant like, like jokes. Okay, I agree with that, I agree with that. Call from Tuckerton Seaport. To accept, press. Tuckerton Seaport? Hey. How are you doing? doing? How are you doing, Tucker? Um, I'm holding in there, man. Um, I actually drove up from Florida, and um, I made the wrong turn. I'm in Pennsylvania, but I wanted to see your show, so I'm calling into it. Wait, so you drove? Wait, hold on. So you drove up from Florida to come see this, but then you got stuck in Pennsylvania. Yeah, kind of a weird thing. Why? I. <laughs> why? Wait, hold on. Why <laughs> did? Why did you drive all the way from? So you're just in Pennsylvania now. You missed the show. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. Are you, are you, are you having fun in Pennsylvania at least? Well, it's been interesting. Yeah, yeah, we're we're doing the the outdoors bit since um, and we're actually gonna be in New York tomorrow. So yeah, it was a whole lot of misplanning. Okay, on my part. well, I'm I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. <laughs> and that's that's a travesty on my part. So I, again, so I wanted to say thank you for doing this live show that I. Totally missed. Fucking thank you for co thank you for coming. All right, so wh what? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. What? I feel like to me, if you were gonna drive, and by the way, I'm not dying. I'm. I'll do more shows. <laughs> I thought I about that. Certainly hope so. That said, though, if on the way back, I get killed, yes. whoever drove, that whoever came up to this problem. first show, actually had it in uh, the the right idea in mind. So. Listen, why did why did your plans go awry? Um, I just wasn't paying enough attention to the timelines. To be honest with you, I had set too many plans in motion at once, bouncing between uh, New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. You set and too many plans in like, motion hey. at once. Yeah, so my buddy texted me, he's like, "Yo, get live tonight," and I was like, "Oh." Oh, I was like, I'm calling it. Wait, what and do you, then wait, my what girlfriend do you mean dialed in for me. 
Go what ahead. do you mean your buddy texts you that this is happening tonight? That's exactly how it went down. I got it. So I got in, and he's like, he just sends me the uh, the the link to Twitch. I'm like, oh shit! And he's like, yeah, it's live tonight. I'm like, oh, what what time uh, okay. what time in the day did you find out that this event was taking place? Was I reminded? Uh, <laughs> yeah, hold on a second. Yes, Pat, it's me. Um, they're probably about an hour ago. An hour ago. What, hold on. How do uh, this time? You, you know what? The, I, you know what, I understand how your timeline got confused, because I'm a little bit confused by it as well. Here's the thing: I felt bad for you at the beginning of this, but I, you truly did deserve to not be here right oh, yeah. now. I, I don't feel bad. I hope that the next time you get in, but uh, I don't. Uh, you're messing with time here. It's freaking me out. Yeah, I, I tried to convince myself it's just a construct, but that, that hasn't paid off. Well, listen, man, I hope you're enjoying Pennsylvania. And I, I, I'm so glad that you got to be part of the show. <laughs> Thank you, man. Have Visit Hershey day. Park. You. That's fun. Pardon? All right, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Did anyone else, who here, like, came from a faraway place? Where did you come from? Dallas! You came from... <laughs> what? What? Can I ask, like, genuinely, what? Uh, did you drive or did you walk? Uh, like, walk. You flew. Okay. W is it, like, so far? Oh, uh, is it good? Okay, because I only care if you like it at this point. It <laughs> Everyone else can screw off, but you came here from Dallas. I'm doing this for you now. Okay, good. Good. I'm gonna, I'll be checking in with you. Call from Mikael. Mikael. Hello. How are you, Mikael? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, why, why, why are you so good? When you say that you're good, do you mean it? Oh, I do. I do. Because right now I'm just chilling on the couch with my two dogs and cat. Mm. So I'm good. Mm. Um, what do you, what do you do for a living, Mikael? Oh, you don't really want to know that. It's kind of boring, to be honest. It's boring? No, I need, well, we need something to talk about here. Well, I'm a packaging engineer. You're a what, en what do you engineer? A packaging engineer. You're a packaging engineer. That's, that can be interesting in certain, uh, con what, what kind of packages do you engineer? Well, all kinds of package. I mean, it can be anything. Uh, Please, what, what? What is the most interesting kind of package that you engineer? Uh, I don't, I don't really want to get into that right now. I don't think it's very appropriate. It's inappropriate. It, mm, yeah. It's yeah. That, that that sounds kind of interesting. So, uh, yeah. I guess it's kind of interesting, but you know, you know, like what a blister package is, right? A bli I have no idea what a blister package is now. It's like those plastic ones, you know, the ones that are hard to get out. You gotta like, you know, use like a saw blade to pretty much cut through them. Okay. Okay. What now? What about this is inappropriate? It's, it's really the products that are packaged. Just say, are you packaging dildos? Is that what this is? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It comes to the light. There we go. And you told us you weren't interesting. Yeah, no. Let me ask you another question. Shoot. Do you get an employee discount? <laughs> I wish. I wish. My wife would love that. Your wife would love that? Oh, yeah. How many toys, and you, listen, you don't have to tell me anything you don't want to tell me, but how many toys do you have between you and your wife? Now, like, do you mean between, like, for both of us to use, or just... If her? you were to add together <laughs> the dildos uh -huh. that you are in possession with, with the ones that she is in possession with, what number would you arrive at? Four. 
Is it three and one, or two and two, or one person has all of them? Mm, it's really... We share. You share. Wh which one is your favorite? You know, I don't really have, have a favorite. You don't have a favorite? You know, it's, it's like, you know, as they say, size doesn't matter. It's about the motion of the ocean, right? Okay, I respect that. What, uh, does she so have a favorite? pretty good. She, huh? Does she have a favorite? Nah, I feel like Dobbin too, because I'm pretty good with it. <laughs> what did you just say? I'm, I'm, I'm open to... I'm open about all this because, you know, there was that one I listened to a few weeks ago. Some dude was open about butt stuff. So right. I feel pretty comfortable talking about this stuff, not going to lie. I like how we went from you don't want to talk about your job packaging things <laughs> to I would love to tell you about all the butt stuff I do. <laughs> this is an amazing place to, to have arrived. Up, you know? so, uh, I just had to get a little warmed up, kind of like when you get into butt stuff, you know, you don't want to just ram it in uh, there. Of course. I mean, look, let us let us hear it, <laughs> whatever it is. Hey, I mean, hey, that's pretty much all I got. I, I do have a question for you. Actually. Please, kind please hit me. What's, is it a question for me specifically about butt stuff or is it unrelated? No, this is, this is unrelated. Okay, hit me. But we're going back to so... the back to the butt stuff. Before this is over, what's uh, well, the question? We, we, I'd love to circle back to that at any time. I'm sure you would. <laughs> so, um, in one of your earlier calls, long ago, maybe a few weeks ago, okay, you were talking about how you you were criticizing some guy who wanted to drink toilet water. Do you remember that? Uh, that doesn't sound like something I would do. I criticize so, the yeah, guy for okay. wanting to drink toilet water. Right, right. Are you then, that guy? So. No, that's not me. No. Okay, all I right. Wish. So I, uh, so Ooh, what, what is guy. your question? Are you? Do you want to hear my opinion on that again? No, um, but in another episode, you were encouraging all of us to eat garbage, saying that you know what makes you too good to eat garbage. My question is to you, what makes you too good to drink toilet water? Mm. I, look, I'm going to be honest. I, that doesn't sound like me. I, I, I would be in favor of drinking toilet. I mean, it should be clean. Are you talking about dirty toilet water or just clean toilet water? No, just, I mean, I guess clean toilet water, whatever that guy drank. Toilet Pretty water nice. could be good to wash down some trash. Yeah. Are you asking me this because you're considering drinking toilet water? I mean, I wouldn't say no to it. Someone gave me $10 too. What'd you say your name was? Mikael. Thank you so much for sharing everything you share with us tonight, Mikael. I hope you have a good rest of the night. Thank you, Gecko. You too. I forgot to ask him about the butt stuff. I'm sure someone else will bring it up. Call from G G G G G O. To accept, press one. To send a voicemail, press two. Okay, I've sent the caller to voicemail. At any time, you may press star to join the call. Did you actually check voicemail? Sometimes, <laughs> but it's funny because people like well, people think that I don't, so they leave weird shit. Call from. <laughs> Uh, to accept, press one. To send. Hav? Hall? Hey. Hey. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey. It's going all right. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Uh, so I was just wondering, like, uh, uh, I think I broke my toe. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is like a piece of bone sticking towards the the skin, mm -hmm. but it doesn't hurt as much as it should. Do I, I just leave it alone? How did you break your toe? Uh, I kicked the side of my computer desk. You kicked the side of like your computer accident, desk? Like on accident, like standing up without shoes on, turning quickly. Interesting. Um, now, was I the first person you called about this? Uh, I mean, actually, yeah. 
I, that might be your problem. Have you, have you, is so there that, a reason that's why, why my toe, that's why my toe's messed up? Yeah. Well, I mean, is there a, a reason why you haven't reached out to a, a medical professional of some kind? Because uh, it doesn't hurt as much as I think it should, so I just don't feel like it's that big of a deal, possibly. Your bone is sticking out of your foot. It's not out. I just feel like it's either, you know, a hard... I don't know what this hard lump is, and the toe is kind of sideways, so I assume it's bone. What's your name? Carl. You should go to the hospital, Carl. <laughs> I hope I hope he went after he hung up. Perfect. We're saving lives here, or at least feet. Call from Kirk. 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 Hello. Hey. Hey, I made it too, did I? Wow. You did. How's it going? It's going good. How's it going with you, Kirk? Um, nothing really worth complaining about. Hey, okay, Kirk. Uh, yeah. What's the best thing about your life right now? Um, right now? Yeah. I'm about to get the best advice of my whole life, maybe. You said you're about to get the best advice of your whole life? Well, well that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, well, if you... Should go ahead, lower your expectations a little bit, and then I would love to right. hear the thing that you want to hear advice about. Okay. Uh, it's like this. I got my parents a puppy. Okay. And I chased the puppy around, and now it <coughs> it hates me. Oh, the, pu the puppy hates you? I think I'm, I'm, yeah, I think I'm starting to hate it as well. And... I'm basically wondering a, a peaceful resolve. Say that one more time. I, oh, we missed. We I'm, lost. What did you say? I'm looking for a way to fix this. A what? I'm looking for a way to fix this. A way to fix this. Um. Okay. So how did how did you build this bad favor with the dog in the first place? You were chasing it around. I chased it around when it didn't want to be chased. I guess, and it got scared. Now it hates me and it barks every time it sees me. You know, part of me wants to tell. Uh, you want you want the truth? Yes. Get a new dog. <laughs> it's not mine. It's it's pretty difficult to uh, change that imprinting, and you should just get a new dog. Just trade it in. I ruined it. Because <laughs> look, you could you could do the thing with the treats. You could uh, condition it differently, but that it, just get it. It's way easier. Just get a new one and start over. Are you getting high in here? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> no. That's it, eh? What? Who's... Is it legal in here? No. <laughs> uh, whatever. I... Look, what, I, what am I going to do about it, really? What would you say your name was? What kind of what kind of dog are you gonna get? Me? Oh, uh, something bigger, I guess. I can eat it. That's a good idea. Well, listen, man. Uh, thank you so much for calling. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Thank you. Great, how are you? Why are you so great? Dude, because shows are back in uh, BC, Canada, so I'm going to go to one, and I'm excited. Okay. Uh, what show are you going to go to? Um, it's Champagne Drift and Sully at the Red Room. What is, I've, what, I, I, what, what is Champagne Drift? You said it's a sex <laughs> show? <laughs> oh, gee, okay. You, you have fans in here. Okay. You're like, yeah? Heck. 
Interesting. Okay, so what kind of music do they play? Um, like headbangers, man. You know. Headbangers. Do you do you enjoy letting loose, getting your energy out there? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. You going to blow off some steam? Yeah, a little bit of steam. A little, little bit of built up steam over the year and a half. You know. Okay. Tell me. How, tell me about the steam. How did you build it up? <laughs> uh, you know, just cooped up inside. Right? You gotta let loose once in a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, how? Uh, what is the situation like in in uh, Vancouver? Is it uh, slowly opening up? Uh, yeah. Like we don't even gotta wear masks anymore. It's great, man. Okay. Everything's getting back in order. What What did you do over the pandemic? Anything interesting? Um, played some video games. Did some DJing. You did you, you know. DJed? I yes, I do. Also like, DJ. I go like to parties DJs or I like online. DJ What's that? At like parties or like online? Um, you got to stop parties, doing yeah. that fucking <laughs> right now. You got to stop. Um People smoke weed um, in there? No, not anymore. <laughs> I handled the situation expertly by telling him Good. to stop twice very Amen. authoritatively um okay what what so you dj did you like okay did you like dj at parties or did you dj like online um yeah we threw like bush parties so parties in the woods that aren't allowed to happen but we made happen you know what i'm saying wait so then you weren't because cooped up down? if you were so if you were throwing these parties and you weren't really cooped up well i mean you know they're just like Occasional parties. It's not not enough partying, you know. I like I like my fair share of partying. It wasn't enough. And you have a, you like your fair share of parties, you say? <laughs> yeah. How, how you high like are you? Part? How high am I? Yeah, right On now. Scale of what? Like the ten? Yeah. At least like a four twenty sixty nine or something. All right, get the fuck out of here, <laughs> Call from. Sarah. Sarah? Sarah. Hey, what's up? How high are you, Sarah? I'm okay. I'm a little gassy. How are you? You're a little gassy. What did you eat yeah. today? Uh, all right. So I'm lactose intolerant, but I've had um, ice cream and nachos. So no. I think that contributes to where I am today. Now, why did you uh, <laughs> consume dairy products even though you are lactose intolerant? You know, as I say often, I'm here for a good time and not a long time. You However, say this I think often. I should rethink this if uh, I am on the toilet for a long time. Are you on the toilet right now? Who's to say? Sarah, is this a good idea? I... No. <laughs> Are you talking about eating... You're talking about eating uh, lactose intolerant, eating dairy while lactose intolerant, or are you talking about uh, this, this experiment that we're doing right now? Pooping? Thank you so much for calling, Sarah. I hope you have a good afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Ah, we're doing therapy, Gecko. Fucking live. Paul from. Paul. Hello, Paul. How are you? Hello. How are you, Paul? Oh, good, man. How are you? Uh, I'm good. What are you doing right now? Uh, me? Well, I'm laying in bed. I should be going to sleep right now. i got to get up really early, but I was excited to watch your chat. So, or your, your stream. Of it. So I started um, watching that, and I've been trying to call in. <laughs> Paul, do you, do, you, do you dream often? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. What, what, do, you, what do you dream about? Uh, man, I have weird dreams. You know, I have those dreams where, like, 
you wake up and you're like, man, that was fucking weird, but then you don't really remember it. Do, do, do you remember the last weird dream that you had? Oh, man. Uh, I think it was about, like, driving with, like, people that I really didn't like. <laughs> okay. Tell, tell, yeah. tell me about, were, were you in the passenger seat or were you in the, the front no, seat? No, I was driving. driving. I was driving. You were driving. And who were these people that you didn't like? Why didn't you like them? Uh, I think they were just, like, frustrating people. And they weren't even, like, people that I hate. They were just, like, people that I find annoying. It was, like, all the annoying people. Okay. Were these, life. like, were these fictional annoying people that you create, or were they people that you find annoying that you know in real I, life? Yeah, I think some of them were real, and some of them were probably, like, embodiments of, like, the things that I don't like, you know? Okay. And what, what do these people do that frustrate or annoy you? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I don't like when people... Uh, like, I, I don't like people tell me what to do. I can do my own thing. I don't like feeling like I've been uh, instructed to do something. So I feel like when driving, especially, this is really annoying. When someone's like, "Oh yeah, you need to." You need to they were they way. were giving you. They were being backseat drivers. Oh uh, yeah, they were being backseat drivers. <laughs> okay. And why? Why? What do you? What do you think this dream means? Oh, what do I think it means? I think it means I need to. I, you know, I think the fact that I was I was thinking about it that much, I was dreaming about it, is not great. I need I need to chill out a little bit, probably. You need to chill out a little bit. What What do you think you can yeah. do to chill out a little bit more? Uh, you know, I, I need to I need to relax more, man. I need to I need to not let. let well, I, there's a guy me. here who has some weed. <laughs> yeah, that's my spot. If you want to come <laughs> up to New York. No, I, I can't smoke. I'm, I'm not allowed to. You're not. What do you mean? You're not allowed to. Yeah. Um, well, I'm in the. Oh, sorry. I'm in the National Guard, so I'm not uh, allowed to smoke marijuana. Okay. What made you decide to go into the National Guard? Oh man, I need health insurance. <laughs> See, I don't. I just don't get sick <laughs> for of anything. Man, I wish it was that easy. Well, you know, it's funny because I haven't really needed it, so it's always tempting. Like, oh, I don't really have to do this, but. Health insurance is expensive, man. Do you feel like the Do you feel like having health insurance makes you more bold? Uh, like you're more willing I mean, to put yeah, yourself in like danger. I, I'm definitely less like carefree. Like I'm like ah, whatever. If I get sick, I can. Which is good. Like everybody should feel that way, you know. Have you? What's the worst injury or sickness that you've ever sustained? Uh, when I was little, uh, I had chicken pox like really bad. Like I was gonna die. Uh, does health insurance pox, cover like, that? Does your insurance cover chicken pox? I, I, I don't know. Oh, like mine was now. When I was a kid, I like died. I think it was cool because I was in the hospital and the city. My parents were able to pay for it. and didn't like bankrupt us. So it was cool. So. I, I, I couldn't hear what you said just now, but I'm sure it was great. Oh, sorry. Um, well, thank you so much for calling, man. This was a, yeah, a nice, cute one. Oh, I appreciate your stream and everything. I, I found you on Instagram. It's really fun. Oh, thank you, man. I uh, I appreciate that. You have a good rest of the night. You too, man. So, uh, uh, talk to me, Geck Nation. What's what are what, uh, you? Hey, <laughs> what's what? Tell, what do you? What, how's this going? It's going pretty good. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Yes! What? Are you missing any? What's going on like in Dallas while you're away? Uh, I took vacation from work. What do you work at? I work for Amazon. You work for Amazon? Yeah. Is it like... Is, is it like as shitty as like we think it is? Depends on the warehouse. Depends on what? On the warehouse. Okay, your warehouse. Is it shitty? Not okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Had, was it always chill? Okay, fuck yeah. You recently transferred from, did you transfer from a shitty one? Why was it shitty? Uh, it actually just made the news about having the 12 plus hour long Facebook post. Really? Yeah, so the coverage would be there's like a day before the Facebook post. Damn. Well, I'm glad you're at the new one. Uh, do you, so you also package stuff. Do you, do you also, you ever package a dildo before? <laughs> what is what is a merkin? Like a wig or like a 
Did anyone here, did anyone here know what, knew what a merkin was before he just said uh, <laughs> Dude, merkin sales are about to go nuts in this fucking chat. <laughs> Hell yeah, well, congratulations. I'm glad that your life is better now and doesn't suck. Beautiful, beautiful. Hell yeah, dude. Call Let's from. Take another call. Mark. Hello? Hello, my friend. Oh, my, oh, right. my friend. Hello. <laughs> uh, we're not going to do that one. Call from Gandalf. Danielle. <laughs> Gandalf, dude. What did you say your name was? Gandalf. Oh, uh, Dandalf. Okay, in chat. Ga oh, Gandalf. Gandalf with a D. Oh, Dandalf. What are you doing, Dandalf? I'm fucking. I'm waiting for a call to come to me. You're waiting for a call to come to you. Yeah, it's not a good one. Who are you waiting? Who are you waiting on a call from? Uh, my mom. Uh, my 106-year-old grandma is on her deathbed. So I'm just looking at the phone, waiting for it to fucking to ring. Do you? Do you want me to hang up? No. She, no, you're good, dude. I'll see. You'll see. You know. Hey, if she calls, can you like conference her in? Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. If she calls. She's 106 years old. Yeah, dude. She was born before the Soviet Union was a thing and outlived it. Have you, like, sat down with, like, you know, before she dies, did you take the time to, like, sit down with her and, like, get her stories and, you know, learn kind about... Kind of over the years, like, back in the day when she was a kid, like, cars weren't widely used so mm -hmm. they're like horse cars and shit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh let's see you know gas lamps instead of electricity there'd be like a phone on the street and people would like all share it and stuff or like shared lines and the phone number would have like six numbers and two of them would be letters and shit's fucked up not fucked up it's weird so a like different from, time from your perspective do you think she had a good life Ah, uh, yeah she definitely lived a pretty radical life she went to college in the 30s, and uh, she was a cougar, definitely. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, you said she was a eight, cougar? Eight younger than, yeah, dude, she was She was older when the war happened. She pretty much picked up a serviceman, because she was in her 30s by that time. So, so yeah. And she, like, she like told grade. you about all this? Like, her well, I cougar mean, experiences? I, I mean, you wouldn't. In the parlance of her time, she probably wouldn't know what cougar is, but by our standards, that's how it's often described, right? What? How would you? <laughs> how would you define cougar? Are we talking about the same thing here? I'm just thinking like an older woman that goes after a younger man. She wouldn't be like all tarted up and stuff. She wasn't, you know, one of those housewives or whatever on TV, but. Just the age disparity is, I think, what what makes it a cougar in my brain. Oh, uh, yeah. So the you? age disparity now, your so she's 106, and your grandpa is probably like. He he's passed. He he passed a while ago. Oh, uh, how old was he? Yeah, I'm sorry he would, to hear that. He would have been at this point. He would have been like 97 or 98. That she really is a cougar, then. Damn, that's 10 years. Yeah, yeah, dude. Dandolf, um. She knew what she wanted. Dandolf, look, while. While I still have you, is there anything like in particular that you wanted to talk about? Like a reason you called in? It's okay if there's not. I know that I don't really have like things set up, but I, I just before we go, I, I wanted to check in with you and see if there was. Um, that was really it. I, I appreciate getting that off of my chest. So um, I hope you have a good live show and perhaps play one in Michigan one of these days because I'd love to see you. I'd love to see and you. And yes, I'm weird. Life. In chat. Well, thank you so much for calling, man. You have a good rest of the night. Yeah, man. Have a good show. Woo! Techniques forever. Good call, baby. Call from. To accept, press. Fuck it. Hey, what's your name?
Hello? Hi? You know what? That's fine. Uh, that's a legitimate strategy. I never said you had to say words. Call from Pingu. Uh, did you say her name was Hungry? Hello? Pingu. What's your name? I said my name was Pingu. Pingu. Ping like Newt Newt Pingu. Pingu, what year were you born? Uh, 1994. Do you want to speak to my husband? Do I want to speak to your husband? Uh, be honest with me here. Okay, Pingu. Be, be completely yeah. honest with me. Um, who is more interesting between you and your husband? Probably my husband. He's got beautiful, long, luscious hair. There's nothing and... interesting about being attractive. I'll say that. <laughs> uh, who is he as a person? Uh, uh, like he, he's a manager at a bookstore, and he's just like this chill dude who can play guitar and he plays video games. He's really tall. Again, like, he's like six foot four. Okay. Well, okay. All right. So those. Are, that's sort of his argument. What's What's the argument for? You're the interesting one, and we should talk to you. Well, <laughs> I just had like a baby in the pandemic, and oh, congratulations. I'm a nurse in the pandemic, and right now I'm drawing you. You're drawing like, me. Like um, yeah, I'm doing a watercolor design because why the fuck not. That's so sweet. I want to. I want to hear about this baby. Yo, my baby. Uh, yeah, I want to hear about this baby. Uh, how long have you always wanted a child? I have always wanted a child, and like, I sound like an old hippie, but I'm like, yeah, I want to like, eat, pray, love, and like. <laughs> my husband's just trying not to laugh right now. <laughs> But like, just like, chill out with a kid and show this kid the world and be like, yo, we're gonna fucking show him everything. That's actually super interesting to me because Eat, Pray, Love, that's the one where the the lady she, she travels everywhere, right? Yeah. Because to me, having a kid is like, you can kind of do whatever you want in your life and then you have a kid and now you can't. But you're looking at it as more of a adding to your, 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 your wanderlust. You want to bring the baby everywhere? Yeah, I totally want to bring my kid everywhere. Like, unfortunately, because of the world we live in right now, we can't really travel too much because we're in Canada. Also, uh, people are going to uh, hate you because you're going to be the person on all the planes with the crying baby. Uh, I know. Well, I was thinking of doing like a road trip sort of deal, like okay. getting That's good. the car. Minimizing and... the crying to your own vehicle I like yeah that. i'll take i'll take the demise kind of deal what do you want to what do you want to show your baby because i want to show him obviously the guest like that'd be pretty rad but i want to you want to show him, wait, wait, like, you wanna, you wanna show him what i want to show him the guest i want to show him you like i'm, I'm gonna scare the shit like, out of him i look like something that kids have nightmares about <laughs> He's gonna be like, what the fuck is that? Like, it's a lizard. And I'll be like, yeah, but he's like a therapy lizard. Like, it's so sick. What What but, are your What are your yeah, top three know. destinations to bring your baby? I want to take him to BC. I want to come down to the states. Does Does your baby have a up. strong appreciation for American history? I mean, we don't. <laughs> we know about some American history, but in, I don't know, Canada, you don't really learn about American history. We learn about Canadian history. Okay, all right. Do you want to take your baby to D.C. to visit B the B president? I want to go to Oh, uh, B.C. Oh, okay. I thought you said you wanted yeah. to take your baby to Washington, D.C. And I was like, why the fuck would you want to do that? Um, uh, I mean, sure, why not? I've never been there, but... Okay, what's, this, what's, I, what's, I what's number up. two on the list? Um, probably New York City. New York City. Yeah, it's cool. yeah. Very baby-friendly place. 
it's so baby friendly. Like he's just gonna run around Central Park and be like, "Yo, I'm a cool kid." Okay, what's the third one? Uh, Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah, or does, Osaka. Does your baby speak Japanese? Nah, but I'm kind of forcing him to learn Japanese and French right now. Huh. Man, you know what's gonna suck is like I feel like you're gonna like spend all this money, all these vacations or whatever, and then your baby's gonna turn 13, and you're gonna be like, "Remember when we went to Japan?" And he's gonna be like, "No." <laughs> I, yeah, he's gonna be like, "You're lame, mom. Like you took pictures of me and shit, and now I don't remember. Like how could you do this?" And I'll be like, "You know, it's all part of the life adventure, man." Well, beautiful. Look. You know, I I wish I was your baby so I could get free vacations, but uh, I I I feel for the kid. I think he'll have a good life. Would you say her name was? Uh, my name is Samantha. Samantha, Samantha, thank you so much for calling. I hope you have a good rest of the night. Thanks. You too. Love you, Gek. Love you too, Samantha. Woo Bye. We did it. Good call, baby. Where, where, where are you guys? Where, where, what's the number one vacation place to take a baby? Cape Cod? Cape Cod? Why Cape Cod? You did? Was he, is he a baby? Did, did, did he like it? Did, did, did you, is, is he is he with someone, or is he you just he just liked it so much he decided to stay? No, no. Look, look. It's it's good to teach you, get your kids to have a sense of independence early. I think that that's smart. I, I like that. Woo! It's true. They have to figure it out on their own sometimes. Have him bring you back like a keychain or something. I'm waiting for a thing. We'll wait. I didn't bring the worm. The worm's almost done, dude. I think I'm gonna. I think it's it's filled with bacteria. Call from sock. 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 No, bud. It's fox. Fox. How are you, fox? I'm doing good, bud. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing amazing. Is Fox your real name? Fox, yes. Like Mulder. Like Mulder? Oh yeah. What I you, I don't know what that is. Like uh like the X-Files. Oh, okay. I don't Oh yeah. I don't do anything. Uh Oh, no, you're good. Okay. So, is that like your fake name or is that like do people call you that? No, that's like my birth given name. Was your were your parents fans of the X-Files? Uh no. Actually, it's kind of like an indigenous kind of thing. Oh, uh, okay. Are you are you indigenous? Uh, yes. Awesome, awesome. Um, oh yeah. Where 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 did you where did you grow up? Uh, Moose Jaw, Canada. Canada. Saskatchewan. A lot of Canadians oh, yeah. here tonight. I can oh hear, yeah. I can hear it. Not enough. I can hear it in your voice. I can hear it oh, in your you. voice. So Fox. Uh, yeah. I mean, what 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 are, what are you up to? What were you doing before this? Oh, uh, I was just watching for the most part. Um. Keeping up with uh, some games. Uh, not really doing much. Just kind of relaxing, getting ready to move for the most part. Where are you moving to? I am moving uh, to a small town in California uh, called Claremont. A small town in Claremont. And why, did you, why are you moving from, from Canada to Claremont? Oh, no, I'm moving from uh, another city in California. I moved from Canada probably a couple weeks ago for the most part. Wait, so you just moved? Oh, yeah. Just moved to move again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a... It's a <laughs> what? Now, I, I, I got to ask, uh, yeah. why? Oh, man. First name Justin, second name Trudeau. I, I, I can't stand the guy. You don't, you can't stand, okay, why don't you, I, I always, I don't, I don't know anything about anything, but he, <laughs> I th always um, thought he was, like, cool. Oh, no, yeah, for the most part, no, absolutely not. See, Central oh. Canada, we don't really, we don't give a fat rip about it. Okay, why part. don't you, why don't you like him? Uh, personally, uh, 
He was a uh, drama substitute drama teacher before he became prime minister. That's why even... you don't like him? Because he used to <laughs> teach drama? No, I got nothing against drama for the most part. It's just uh, more so I kind of feel like a lot of people th were thinking, uh, you got 35 million people here in Canada, okay. roughly, and uh, you get a handful of people that are just like, oh, yeah, no, I didn't even know Pierre was still alive for the most part. I'm pretty sure they didn't even pay attention to the first name. Pretty sure they thought they were still electing his dad. You've really tried to explain why you don't like him, and I'm, I don't know Not if it's understand. my fault that I don't still understand. <laughs> oh, you're good. It's, uh, he really, uh... Do you really think liked, he's, uh, like, too dramatic? Oh, not a dramatic enough for the most part. He really likes to keep us cooped up up there. Uh, got a good handful of people that still are closed in and can't do anything. Okay. It's pretty rough. California, but, but, but you moved to California. I mean, California is a little bit more... I, I, why am I talking about like I fucking know anything? Um, <laughs> Okay, so you don't like him because of, like, COVID shit? For the most part. Like, I mean, I don't got anything against it. I mean, it was just, uh, I think we were locked up a little too long. Started going a little crazy for the most part. Okay, so now that you're off of lockdown and then you move, oh, yeah. what, you're celebrating how free you are by moving again? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, I like that I have the freedom to, I guess, get around. Uh, I can go out and... I can drink. I can do a lot of stuff with some friends. I mean, I can actually leave my house for the most part. Okay. Well, I, I, I still don't understand why you moved twice. How long were you in the place that you moved? Like, okay, you went from Canada to America. Yes. And then how long yes. were you in that place for before you moved? I mean, I guess it makes place? it a little easier because I showed up. I was living with a uh, family about friend this for the most easy. part down here. And then I'm moving to my own place now. Okay. Okay, so you're living yeah. completely alone. Yes. I feel like, isn't that going to be, like, isolating? You were just sort of talking about how uh, you felt isolated, being in, you know, sort of alone by yourself in the, the COVID land. Oh, yeah. COVID land. Uh, yeah, for the most part, I mean, more like a sense of independence for the most part. Where I'm moving, they're still kind of, like, get around and do whatever I want for the most part. That's Live cool. down the street from downtown or can walk to the bar. That's cool. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, what's on your itinerary? What's like the number one? Th what are you like the most excited to do now that you're out on the prowl besides move? Oh, man. Oh, man. For a third time. I'm just, I am, I just want to try and, uh, I only really want to try to become a citizen for the most part. Do it right. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's that's awesome. the biggest goal for the most part because, uh, it was a big, real pain in the butt trying to get down here for the most part. Well, I hope I hope that it works. I have no idea what the process is like, but I, I hope that you're able to get a citizenship, man. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very kindly. Uh, thank you for bringing this ca Canadian uh, kindness <sighs> into into our space this evening. Oh, absolutely. Can you say "Oh yeah" one more time? Oh yeah. Beautiful. Hey, bud. I love you. Have a good one, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Hey, thank you so Hell much for yeah. calling, man. You have a great rest of the night. Hell yeah, bud. You too. Oh yeah. Call from Cora. Cora? Hey, Derek, what's up? What's up, Cora? How you doing, dude? I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, what are you up to, Cora? Cora, Cora, did you call for a reason or did you just call randomly? I always call for a reason. There's you always you call. call for a reason. Yeah. Okay, what's have we spoken before? We have. Okay, all right. So what's what's your reason this time? Well, this time, honestly, I just came to tell you that I'm. This is like your best stream in my opinion so far. I'm having so much fun. Uh, I'm not even there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank. Thank you, Korea. Thank you, Korea. Is it Karina or Karina or Kombucha? Cora, what's her name? Like C O R A Cora. Cora. Okay, Cora. Well, that I'm so glad you're having fun, Cora. Thank you. Now, did you did you call just to tell me that or did you have like something that you want to talk about? Oh, I have like two things to say. The first thing, I'm, okay, do I, can I talk sec? Hold on one sec. Can, can you turn her up a little bit? Is that possible? 
Uh, Colin was telling me to. Cor Corinna, Cora. Cora, you said you had two Cor things. Yes. Ta let's start with the first one. The first one? Okay, well, before your stream started, I was like cleaning the pool and I found there's like this weird white thing at the bottom of it, so I fished it out and I thought it was just like a ping pong. Oh, correct, 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 correct. Cor like Cor Cor Can you, are you on like speakerphone right now or something? No. Can you speak a little bit louder? Yes. That was whatever you just did. That was perfect. That was one. If you could speak at the, that yes volume the rest of the time, that would be wonderful. Okay, so I was cleaning the pool cool. and I saw this white thing at the bottom of it. And I was like, is that a ping pong ball? So I fished it out and it wasn't a ping pong ball. It was like an egg, a bird egg. And I was like, okay. And so I went to my kitchen and I cracked it open and there was like, I thought it was going to be a yolk, but it was like an undeveloped little bird. And I felt very sad and guilty for cracking it open because I probably disturbed. I know it was dead anyways, but I feel like I have some weird thing about messing with the dead. It makes me uncomfortable. And now I'm like scared that like I did something and I, I don't have anyone else to tell me. I can absolutely see why that would make you uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, all right. So you cracked open it. You thought it was going to be a yolk. And then instead, yeah. it's like a little bird fetus. Yeah. And uh, what did you do with it? I felt really scared, so I buried it. I was like, I hope this is like a proper burial, so like it won't be upset with me. I don't know, man. You, you, did you, where, where did you, where did you bury it? In the backyard, right next to the pool, like next to my pool, like there's this little like dirt area, so I just buried it. You buried it. Did you like? Did you, did you say any words or anything like that? Did you give it like a little funeral? I was kind of just like, I'm sorry. Like, if I like, I really didn't know any better. And next time I see like an egg, I'm just gonna leave it alone. You know, I'm sorry. I didn't need to like disturb you or anything. I think if it was at the bottom of the pool, what? Well, I mean, you probably. I don't know if cracking it open was the best decision. After saving it? Yeah. Um, did you crack it open because you were, like, curious? You thought it was going to be a yolk, right? Yeah, because that wasn't the first egg I found in my backyard. I think it was just a really crappy bird mom out there. Like, this is, like, the third, like, egg I found in my backyard. I'm like, oh, cool. I wonder if it's another yolk. And this time it wasn't. Mm. The I was also wondering if she ate it. <laughs> but I don't think she did. Well, actually, in the Philippines, in Filipino, there's this delicacy called balut, and it's an undeveloped egg. And I'm, so, like I'm sorry. Egg. I'm, I'm sorry. I, can you say what you uh, were gonna said after? But well, actually. Well, actually, in the Philippines, where my family is from, there's this delicacy called balut, and it's a chicken or a duck egg that's been fertilized, and you boil it and you, you eat it. And this is from, like, where you... You said this is a delicacy, like, in your family or something? It's a delicacy in the Philippines and, like, other parts of Asia. Okay. Well, are you going to, like, look up a recipe for it or...? No. Okay. Sorry, what, like, you I said you had a second... You, I, I'm really curious. Like you said you had a second thing that you wanted to talk about. Are they? Is this related to this, the second part of this? No, it's not. What is the, what's the second thing? So the first time I called, it was like about how I'd make fun of like these people and they like paid me for it. I and remember you. Like, yes. Okay. You called in to tell me that there were like a group of guys that were paying you to make fun of them. Yeah. Does anyone here remember this? I don't remember here for that stream. Ash was here. Uh, okay, so uh, you had these guys who were paying you to make fun of them. What what happened with that? Well, um, I never came back because I got a girlfriend, but that's not what this is about. It was something else. What did you just say? Well, I never did it again. I was going to do it again, but then I got a girlfriend, and it felt morally wrong. And I was well, like, no. Well, I'm glad that... Uh, your moral compass has been set in straight. Um, 
And look, I, look about the bird thing. I think, I, I think, you know, you're, you'll be fine. I don't think you'll get haunted by a bird. And even if you did, like, what's a, the ghost of a bird gonna really do to you? I don't know, like, keep me up at night. They're really loud where I'm from. They, like, chirp at night. It's kind of annoying. I think you'll make it through. What'd you say your name was? Cor uh, Corinna? Cora? Cora. Cor Cora, thank you so much for calling, and um, I, I wish you the best of luck in your journey. Oh, yeah. Thank you. you this is the best you've ever. I love you so much. Thank you. I love you as well, Cora. We're doing it up big. We're fucking doing it up live. Thank you, Cora. You have a good rest of the night. You too. Good night. Yes! Yes! Holy God! We're doing it up there. Let's take a few more. Let's take a few more of these motherfuckers. All from Victoria. What did you say your name was? Victoria. 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 Have we ever talked before? No. Oh my god, that scared me so much. I'm so sorry. I wasn't paying attention. You said you're scared. No, I wasn't paying attention, and then I heard your voice like. Come and it delayed to the screen. Oh, that's scared. in the that's in the past. You're paying attention now. This is what matters, Victoria. Yeah, what? no. How how can I help you, Victoria? Um, I don't know. Um, I bought a new hat today. That's really exciting. You bought a new hat today. I did. I that... bought a hat for work. That's super. Ex you bought a hat for work. Yes. What? I did. Sorry, I took you off speakerphone. What kind? What kind of hat did you buy? It's like um, a bucket hat, but with a string. Okay. What? And how will this assist you in your in your work endeavors? I work outside. You work at a what? Okay. I have two jobs, and I work outside for one of them. So I got a hat oh, to keep okay. myself. Okay. Not get Can burned. I ask th this purchase of the hat? In the la how does this rank on like the most interesting things that have happened to you in the past month? Um, it was pretty interesting. It was my birthday yesterday, but I think this like topped it. I was like, it's a really cool hat. How old? How old do you turn? Um, I just turned eighteen. It was very exciting. Okay, are you excited to be an adult person, or are you nervous about leaving behind fucking high well, school or I can, whatever? I can get like charged as an adult now. So I have to be careful. With I'm my, very suspicious my... that that's the first thing that you were like, <laughs> "Fuck, I'm 18 now, and I'll get charged." Uh, that sets off some red flags for me. What is it that? It wasn't. It wasn't my like. That wasn't my first thought. But my neighbor gave me a card. And he gave me a hundred dollars, and he said, "You can get charged now. You're his future bail." And I was like, "Oh." So now it sits in my wallet with like a little note that says bail money. Okay. What? What? What can you do? I mean, what do you? What, what can a hundred dollars really buy in terms of bail? I don't know, but it's there now in case. Uh, I mean, do you have any crimes that you're planning on committing in the near future? Not currently planned, but it's like never. It's 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 good to be safe with your. I don't know. It's sure. good to be safe, I suppose. It's good to have. Um, well, what's like, if you could get away with any crime, what would you choose? Oh my god. Um. I'm not sure. I'd never like hurt anybody. I I couldn't do that. But it's like maybe like revenge, like a good revenge plot. A good revenge plot. Like if someone like wronged me, like a little bit of arson maybe. Okay. Has, has anyone wronged you recently? Like when you think about getting revenge on someone, is there a person in your mind that you would like to get revenge against? Uh, not currently. That's good. That's good yeah. that you don't want to get revenge against anyone. Do you yeah, want to do you want to kill anyone in a or steal anything from anyone? No. Maybe. Maybe to which of those two things? Like I work at um, I work at a um I don't think I can name it. I, I have two jobs. I also work at a uh I'll call it a coffee shop in Canada. Uh, that's what I'll call it. And it, everyone it, probably knows what it is. Okay, and you want to steal from it? No. 
but sometimes I get like people are mean sometimes and I just maybe if I could like get away with like a quick little I don't know like if I had the option to get away with something and I could that's where I do it damn well look I'm glad that you don't you know, it takes a lot. Yeah, of, what, no, what, I, I could never. I could what, never. What would you say your name was? Victoria. Victoria, it takes a Victoria. lot of... Look, I actually... Unpopular opinion. I think it takes more courage to not lash out at people who are, yeah, like, being no, dicks to you. Like, so thank, thank God for masks. Because, like, the stuff I mumble and, the, like, the faces I make, like, I'd get fired. Mm-hmm. That's, you know... I... I, I what, what's, the, what's the last thing that you mumbled under your breath as a, as a rude patron walked by? Oh, God, there is, um, the inside restaurants are currently closed, and some lady was hiding behind chairs, and I was like, hey, you can't do that, and then I turned to my boss, and I was like, bro, what the hell is wrong with her? I didn't want to swear in front of you, Gecko, I'm sorry. You can't swear in front of me? I didn't want to. Have you heard some of the things that we say on this? Yeah, screen? I was listening, but you look so nice in your little beanbag chair. I just didn't want to put you through that. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. This is actually a camper chair. Oh, I like it. Thank you, Victoria. Victoria, thank you so much, and you have a wonderful rest of the night. Thank you. Bye, Gecko. Goodbye, Victoria. I want... Dude, I wanted... I wanted so badly to bring the 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 fucking actual chair, but uh, I could only fit the camper one. Do you like the chair? Thank you guys. That makes me feel really good. Yeah. Thank you. I look like royalty. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. This is nice. This is what I've always wanted. It's just a room full of people. Just saying nice things to me. I'm glad that my life has gotten... No, I wasn't even remotely close to fitting it in the car. I banged up every... F There's a billion chair leg shaped scratches all over my car. I tried, I'll tell you that. A prop guy? No, this was just here. I like this fern though. I might... Don't tell... I might steal it from them. Holy guacatole, dude! I, what time? How we've been doing this for? Uh, uh, let's see. We 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 uh, probably need like an hour to clean. Let's uh, let's take a few more of these these bad boys, and then we'll get we'll get the fuck out. You want to bring someone up from the audience? You know what? Fuck it. Let's end. Let's do it. Let's do it. Did? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did anyone, hold on, wait, I wanna, real quick. When, okay, who, who, did anyone else drive really far from here or come out really far? Where, where'd you, all right, where'd you drive from? Where, where'd you come from? You came from Virginia? Anyone come longer from Virginia? Where'd you come from? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Texas does win. Well, I feel like we talked to you already. You're good. You seem like you don't want to do it. I don't want to force you to do it. Okay. Is tortilla corn here? Wait. Oh, uh, is tortilla corn here? Tortilla corn. Are you here? Did they not want to come up? I don't want to force anyone to come up. They don't want to come up? All right, David, get the fuck up here. Let's do it. All right. Do we have, yeah, Sai, if you want to bring up a chair, let's do it. We got a mic right there. We got a mic right there. You want to take that? Oh, yeah, sure. Beautiful. All right. Can everyone see you? Hold up. I uh, think. Yeah, this works. This works. You should be this way. Got you. All right. Here, shuffle in. Get close to me. Please. Let's. Come on. David. Oh, man, David. 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 You're nervous. Yeah. Don't be nervous. Yeah. What? All right. Okay. So you came up here from. You came up here from Virginia. Yes. yes. Uh. And how was the drive? Um. I slept the whole way. 
I got my buddy out were, there. I you, you, were you, you weren't driving, were you? No, no, no. Wait, so your buddy was here with you? Yeah, he's, he's out there. I think he's in the bathroom right now. Okay. Was um, uh, was he also like know who I was, or you just convinced him to drive? What five, six? How many? How many hours was the drive? Uh, six, maybe seven. Did he know who I was, Warren? Or you just convinced him to drive six hours for the? Well, he knew about you vaguely, but uh, he's like, I got a buddy in Long Island, so we'll just stay the night there. And uh, I was like, all right, well, I'll see the gecko. You go jet skiing, you know. <laughs> and which of you do you think is having the better time? Be, and be honest. Well, we haven't gone jet skiing yet, so. Okay, so you're gonna go with him. He's not, you're not, you didn't have to choose between jet skiing and gecko. Yeah, but he gets to drive the jet ski. I just sit in the back. Are you gonna let, you're like holding on behind it? Okay, that's cute, I like that. Have you ever been jet skiing before? Never, never. He might toss you off. <laughs> <laughs> What's your, how, how did you meet this guy? Oh, we've been friends since high school. You've been friends since high school? We met in uh, weightlifting. You met in weightlifting? Yeah. Which of you, um, I, I almost want to let, can, which one is he? Which one of you is Buffer? Well, <laughs> Justice, Justice, where is it? Dale, can you, what's up? Yeah, well, come on, what's, come wait, on, yo, would, would you, would you do arm wrestle? <laughs> can, can we do it? Would, would you two be willing to arm wrestle? I want to see which of you is. I want. All right. Would you, uh, can, can, would you both be willing to arm wrestle? Yeah, sure. All right. Hold all right, on. Here's yeah. what we'll do. Let, I want to. Let's. Oh, here's what we'll do. You both. We'll, we'll have. You both can like kneel down and we'll use this chair. Does that work? You just want to do it like over the chair? Does that work? No, you'll be okay. I use the table. Oh, use the table. Oh, here's this will do. We use the fucking. Yeah, I think so. Here, hold on. You'll be able to see it on stream. Here, here, here. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. All right. I think I think you both would want to kneel down and then do like. Does that work? Yeah. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Here. You think you think it will? You can you can see it on the stream. But you, there, you can see it right there. What? All right. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. I will be the referee. Can, can you not? Oh, is there not enough? Ah, shit. Uh, hold on. Shane, is there a table? Is there a table back there? Can we use that table? Hold on, I. All right, we're gonna. All right, we're gonna wait. All right, first of all, which of you do you think is gonna win? You think he's gonna win? David, come on, man. Who, 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 who do you guys, who do you guys think is gonna win this? The man that stole. You stole a washing machine. From a Best Buy, dude. Was it a Best Buy? It was serious. Even more impressive. <laughs> He's like your coach. I like this. Is there? Is there? We got a table back there, Shane. Ah, uh, fuck, shit. Oh wait, we could do it on the speaker. Can we? I'm fucking with the speaker. A guy's smoking weed in here. There's no way. Um, we're getting invited back. All right, hold on. Is there anything back in here? Yeah, we could just have you guys fight. <laughs> Anything? Oh, we did. We got. Oh, we got a table. We got the table. We got the table. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right. Hold on, let me, uh, 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 okay, all right, a real, all right, real quick, by round of applause, hold on, round of applause, who's got, who's got their money on him? Justice. Just, justice? Who's got their money on justice? Who's got their money on David? 
Look, Dave, even if you don't win, being the crowd favorite, it's a good thing. So, I actually don't, I don't know how to actually refer, I don't even know how arm wrestling works. So, if you guys just want to, like, do it. So, uh, people, all right, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. All right, let's do it. This is good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you ready for it? All right. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, David. Come on. David, come on. David, come on. Do it. Yes, David. Ah, ah, oh, God. David, 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 David. Come on. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Come here, come here. I want to say, I want to say, you gave it a really good shot. You gave it a really good shot. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So, all right, so you two came down together? Yeah, yeah. Did you, are you, did you enjoy it? That's him. No, he made me laugh. He made me laugh. I took my car. Oh, God. Well, 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 thank you guys so much for for coming up. This was this was this was nice. You guys can you guys can have. I gotta clean all this shit up. Oh yeah, I gotta. Thank you for also bringing the chair back. That was really nice of you. Ah, we did it. Well. You know what? You know what? Uh, you know what? Before we go, I want to do one more from the audience. Let's do one more from the audience. Is anyone anyone interested? Well, you can. All right, come on, let's do it. Here, let's uh, let's get a chair. Do we have everything got destroyed in the thing? Do we got a we got a mic for her? We got a thing. Oh God. Thank you, Gek. Ah. Uh, you want to scoot I, closer here? to me right here? Yeah, perfect. Uh, Very cool so, to see your view. So what? Once. What is? What is? What is your name? My name is Christine. Christine. Um, and how did you find yourself here? Um. Well, I have to give credit to my partner Brad over there. Brad. Go, Brad. Brad's got a lot of fans. Uh, he found your stream sometime during quarantine, and you have been a shining light for us well, thank during you. That's quarantine. Very sweet. So thank you so much for That's that. That's very sweet. How how long have you and Brad been together for? For almost six years. Oh hell yeah! Okay. Yeah. Well, how did how did you two meet? We met at South by Southwest. Really? That's yes, fucking we cool. Uh, we were working there. I was technically his boss. We really? Little, so was it? A was it a little, was a little scandalous then? A little bit scandalous. So, okay. You know South by though. There's music, beer, love, and we nice. just, yeah, we found each other there. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And is it, is it going well? I'd say so, Brad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Where did you guys? You you were both at you both were working there. Yeah, yeah, we were working there. I was like the producer of all. I worked for an ad agency there. And Brad was like a freelance videographer. Okay, cool. So Are, do you guys still do that? Uh, on and off, you know. Okay. <laughs> What's like, you're, you're, you both seem like you're like creative type people. Mm -hmm. But do you have like, like a, what, what, what's your art medium that you would say that you work in? I mean, he's a video guy. He's a video guy. Okay. And I, I'm just general like graphic design. General crafting design. Do you have a like a th favorite thing that you've crafted? Mmm. A building. Someone said the building. Did that? Is that? Have I you? Did not, have <laughs> you I'm made not an buildings? Architect. I did not craft the building. Okay. So. Are you a graphic designer? Yeah. Okay. What kind of what kind of what do you design graphics of? I do general graphic design. Y'all know what the ASPCA is? Yeah. yeah. You're the you're the one making us cry with the dogs. You see those commercials asking for money with the sad dogs, all real stories, but yeah, wow. that's me. So. 
Oh, thank you, thank you. Adopt. Ado so that bit you did before with get a new dog, it's easier. Yeah. Personally disagreed with that. Really? I did. Oh, wait, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, maybe okay, because there's two things here. Mm -hmm. Do you disagree that he should do it, or do you disagree that it's easier? Because it's totally easier. It's easier, but you bring a dog into your life, you commit to that dog. You gotta help them, right? <sighs> Not to attack the Gek on his own stream, but you gotta commit to But commitment to is so hard. <laughs> it's so much easier to just get the news up. Well, uh, I know. I guess, I guess, I guess that makes sense. I've never seen this happen before. I guess that makes sense. You know what? <laughs> You've changed my mind, kind of. That's exactly what we try to do as an organization. Change your mind, kind of. Perfect. Right? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Um, do you have like a favorite kind of dog? Probably my own dog, who is. What yeah, kind? What I kind? Of, what kind of dog, dog is there. it? She is this angelic black lab with bright blue eyes. Y'all can follow her at Zara. The she dog. has an Instagram. She, has <laughs> she may have. She has not posted for the last two years, but she's freaking adorable. She's a rescue from Tennessee. Uh, yeah, and she's a shy black lab, bright blue eyes, the sweetest thing you'll ever meet. Do you do this? Do you do this thing where like uh, the the Instagram? It's played off as if it's the dog posting it. Yes, do you, I do. Okay, so you also have like. <laughs> So you have sort of crafted a human personality for the dog. I would say she's she's got the human personality. She's like a weirdly human dog. But crafting the captions, I'm sure that you can agree with this after being a, you know, an internet personality. Sure. It was really hard to keep the captions going and keep it funny. Like, I didn't realize how much work it was going to be Did to make the dog seem like she was keeping up the Instagram. So did, I, <laughs> did she have any input on it? Like, Absolutely not. Like, it was just like, dog, sit here. Dog, lay here. Dog, do all these photos. And coming up with what she might say, what would be hilarious, what would be funny. Mm. It was great for like six months, and then after a while. It's like a full-time job. Yeah, well, it's interesting. To, I'm curious, like, because when you're writing for someone else, your dog, mm -hmm. how much of you is in the dog? Or is the dog a totally different person from you? That is a good question. I mean, I would say her Instagram is pretty hilarious, but I wrote it. So, like, maybe I'm a little bit biased that it's really, really that, funny. You know, that's a good way to, like, uh, uh, like you know, self-flagellate. Like, yeah. you write something, you know, you say it's hilarious, but the dog wrote it. But it also helps if you've at least got good photos, good content. If they're photogenic, I guess the captions only matter so much. But... You gotta have that right mix of like, does it look good? Does it sound good? Does it feel good? Mm -hmm. It's hard enough to do that for yourself, but when you're doing it for a creature that does not have any input, mm -hmm. it's pretty tough. What does the dog get out of this? Do they like- She actually got- How much um, ad revenue goes she, to the dog? She got a bunch of free merch. So she has a couple okay. of like, body suits measured to her size. That's pretty that cool. That people sent her for free and she was, on a bunch of different channels. So she profited off this. Did I? Absolutely not. I got nothing for doing any of this. What if she they, got some cool stuff. They might run like an ASPA, ASPCA commercial about like dogs that were like made as influencers and taken advantage if of and they're owed sees this, royalties. They're probably going to call me in and be like, why did you do this on a live stream? So like, I hope no one from my job sees this. Is that... Uh, <laughs> All right, it doesn't appear in the chat that there's anyone here from the ASPCA, no. so I think you're good. What did you say I her would, name was? I would be shocked. I'm Christine. Christine, it was a pleasure talking to you. you thank too, you so yeah. much for so much. for being here. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I'm trying to think. This is fun. I wasn't expecting to do this. Uh, let's see. We did, we did David. We did Christine. We got an hour left. Well, fucking... Let's do one more. Let's do one more from the audience. Someone, someone just hand just bolted up. You brought, you brought, come on. Yeah. Can we turn off the second mic? There we go. Holy shit. You brought me beef jerky? Almond beef jerky. Almond all the way. Ah! Okay, all of it. 
Oh, these are beef sticks. Yeah. Like, not Slim Jims, because you don't like the Slim Jims. Well, they're, Slim Jims are just, it's just a, a brand name for beef sticks. You Thank go. you. I'll fi I gotta figure out what to do with these, but this is very, very sweet. So, Peggy, what what, up, what's, how you doing, dude? <laughs> now, Peggy, you were on, uh, you were on Gek Date. I was on Gek Date. Is anyone, anyone, did anyone watch that Gek yeah. Date that Peggy, all right. You've got fans. Well, oh, it's not a competition, Baba all right? All right? It's not a fight. It's hey, a date. Baba was all right. Baba's a good dude. Baba's probably watching this right now. He's like, what like, the fuck? He had that weird skull thing above his head. I kept on looking, like, above the couch. I was like, what the fuck is this? Mm. Mm. No, it was fine. <laughs> it was just weird. So I don't know how much people from the stream can see it, but someone in the chat, someone in the chat, the audience, which I guess it would be the chat, said to be nice. But Pe I don't think Peggy is coming at this from a, a bad... I like that you wore a green sort of th uh, thing. I was trying to match. What? That, what is that? That looks like a portal to another universe, it that actually necklace. Is. Yeah, it'll, it, you know, you don't need any drugs around me. I'll just take you to another portal no matter what. That I sounds terrifying. Um, so, Peggy, Peggy, how far did you come to be here? Because here's, here's what happened is uh, I put out the tickets to this and I told everyone I have nothing planned. I don't know how this is going to go. I might do more in the future, but this is just a small thing that I'm doing just to try it out. And then I go to the Discord and then I see Peggy going, I booked tickets to fly to New York City. And you booked, but I didn't even book the, you booked your plane ticket before I booked the venue. I did. <laughs> I, it was a shot in the dark. I didn't know. Uh, so... Living on the fly, bro. How, where'd you come from again? St. Louis. No way. That's farther than ever... <laughs> All right, so, uh, how did it... Was it worth it? 100% worth it so far. Full perfect. Six. Full perfect. Six. Perfect. Full so far. What would make it... What would make it the most worth it? Uh, well, I met Maligator. Maligator! Yeah, Maligator. Oh, shit. In Is person. it... Can I... Can I... Because I know... A, I'm curious about this, because I know a lot of people here, they just, like... They like talk to each other on the internet, and this is like their first time meeting. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Is it weird? It's a little weird because you see them in person, and I see their faces, and I'm like, "What's your? Oh, oh, your your uh, you know, washing machine or whatever." Like. I <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. That's cool. Was it like awkward at all? None of this is awkward. She says she. You know what? Do you want it, Mallory? You want to come up? Mallory, come up. Mallory, get up here. Do you want to come up? Mallory. You don't have to if you don't want to. Well, anyway, we got a really nice hotel, and we're going out like doing it to the nines tomorrow night, full sins, whole city. Full. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad that like I'm happy to because if you came up just for this. You know, that would put a lot of pressure. I'm glad that you got multiple things out of this well, odyssey. But, but Lyle, Gek, you're the one that brought us together. It's cool. I like that. That's that's awesome. I'm super glad that people are, like, meeting each other and making yeah. friends from this insane because gecko we're all thing. Because weird. Oh, very, very <laughs> <laughs> We are. It's pretty we are. Did you say everyone is gay? So but, anyway, I brought I brought you some uh, beef sticks and uh, thank you. Brought the hula hoop out for you later. brought the hula hoop. Yeah, I brought the hula hoop. I fuck it. You want you want a hula hoop? Right, let's, let's do it. We're doing it. Get the hula hoop, dude. Do we? Are, yeah, that's you know what? That's a good idea. Oh Jesus. I hope, I hope not, dude. Hey, how's the chat doing? I haven't looked at the chat. Yeah, dude. I don't, wait, don't, you, don't show your ass, because then we're banned from everywhere. <laughs> yeah, did you write? Did you have to check that? That's a whole tube. Electrical tape with me so I can tape it back 
Okay. Okay. We sh do we need? Should we ever sign a waiver or something? <laughs> I'm a professional. It's fine. Okay. This looks like a what is it? A beer bong or something like that? You ever chug out of this thing? A funnel. I actually bought an 18 foot beer bong for my birthday party coming up. <laughs> and you're invited. So. Okay. Oh, I'm into that. All right. So let's see if it. All right. Let's do it. It lights up and shit, dude. Oh my god. Yes, dude. Is it vibrating or something? What the fuck? No, we're good. Oh, did it break? No. Everyone, we're all filing. Everyone, we're all gonna do a tweet storm at the fucking airline or something. Yes! Yes! I love it. Hell yeah, dude. Amazing. Yes. 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 That's impressive. That's impressive. That's impressive. Beautiful. I love it, dude. <laughs> Peggy, everyone, give her a hand. Peggy, Peggy, thank you so much, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I want to... Thanks, Gek. Of course. Give it up for Peggy, everyone. Give it up for Peggy. <laughs> Folks. <laughs> Folks. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Look. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What a, what a fantastic cap to this evening. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. We did it. We did it. We did it. Uh, hell yeah. Well, uh, fucking, I am, I don't know if, uh, uh what, what's, what was I going to say? Um, I, I, we're still here for like another, uh, fucking, uh, we're here until 1130. I gotta like, I gotta scrap all this shit up, but if anyone wants to fucking say, hey, I'm, I'm selling pins if anyone wants a pin. And, uh, yeah, dude. Thank, thank you all so much for coming. This is fucking sick. <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Gek Nation forever, baby. Ah. Ah. Beautiful.